What is going on guys, my name is Mr. Miola, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight. Today we're going to be looking at the third installment of the Mutant Creatures mod. This is the Mutant Snow Golem by the Hippo Master 21. Now I've looked over the last, oopsie, the last two uh, Mutant Creatures that this mod has introduced in two separate mod spotlights. I'll have the links to those two in the description of this video. Um, those are the Zombie and the Creeper, which um Creeper was for 1.2.5 I believe, so quite a while ago, probably about 6 months. But today we finally have our third installment, something we can finally call a snow golem. Because I mean really, how, how do you call our little snowman friend a snow golem? I mean, I, I, I struggle to do so. But in the past, uh, to get our mutant uh, golems, sorry, our mutant uh, creatures, they would uh, have to randomly spawn in the world, or if you're in creative you could actually use a spawn egg. Well, this process had now been changed with this item here, which is... Damn it, that didn't go according to plan. <laughs> our Chemical X, which is crafted using 4 obsidian and our water bottle. Now, when you throw this uh, near or at a mob, it will then sort of... Uh, you'll, it'll experience a, a new particle effect introduced by the mods and it will turn into our mutant form. So uh, if we take our... That also didn't work. <laughs> um, where are we? If we take our pumpkin here and create our standard little snow golem, honestly, how do you call this a snow golem? And we throw our chemical X at him, we get our little skull effect here, and within a few seconds, we have our mutant snow golem. Now look at this guy here. I love them. One thing I've always loved is the modeling and the animations of this. Look at look at the tough guy. Look, arm swinging and everything. Now, if we right click this guy, my name will pop. Oops, that was an accident. My name will pop up above his head, and he will actually follow me. Now, some of the paths these guy or oh, he will uh, take to follow you may be a bit unusual, so uh, it may take a while to get used to that. But uh, and as you can see, it's quite slow by the looks. But let's let's not right click him, and you would have noticed. That uh, as he walks around, he has this, he leaves this snow trail around him. So uh, let's get him to follow every block that he covers. He uh, leaves a block of snow in his path. And uh, you might be wondering what happens when he walks on water. So let's bring him down here. And yes, he turns it into ice. That's a very nice feature, I think. Um, as you know, usually there's about two or three attacks that each of the mutant creatures would have. And I guess. Uh, this is two of them, or not attacks necessarily, but um, features. So the first would be the naming or the the follow feature. The second would be the ice snow sort of walk, and the third would of course be, in the nature of the snow golem, attacking nearby enemy mobs. So let's grab ourselves. Oh, what is that? A mutant Enderman. We're gonna check that out at the end of this video. I had no idea, but um, just have a quick look around here because hmm, news to me. Uh, what do we have? Let's grab our zombie down here and let's see what happens. Oh, I like that. So um, he actually picks up big blocks of ice or presents to throw at our enemy mobs and it's possible that this may be caused due to um, it being around Christmas time I'm not entirely sure but let's see how long it can actually throw come on look at that that is awesome don't you just love the look, whole body swaying that is amazing that is really nice let's see Yes, I can't get enough of that. That is awesome. And the uh, the final thing that we must, well, that I should probably tell you guys, let's get him to follow me again, is that when you actually punch him into water by accident, water that's not frozen, it will deal him eight hearts of damage. So um, let's send him on his way and it didn't do him damage by the looks of it. <laughs> get in the water. There we go. And he flies up in the air and creates these big blocks of ice. So uh, that's, I guess, one way of dealing him unwanted damage and to heal that damage you then throw snowballs at him and it'll heal all his damage now I, as far as I know you can't actually see how much damage he has taken no nope, I'm actually not entirely yep not sure but uh, that's pretty much all there is for the snow golem now just before we finish this mod spotlight I need to check out this mutant enderman egg because I have no idea what to expect right now but 
Oh my lord. <coughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. Um, wow. That is awesome. <laughs> well, I guess you can look forward to seeing this mod spotlight when this releases, but that is amazing. That is so cool. Wow. Look how creepy that looks. He's not hostile there by the looks of it. Let's, uh... Let's double check that. No. So he hasn't obviously, obviously still work in progress as it hasn't been released, but that is cool. Keep an eye out for that. If you enjoyed this mod, leave a like, uh, comment below on any thoughts or any suggestions, anything, you, anything at all you'd like me to know. Just let me know in the comments. If this is the first of my videos that you've watched, please subscribe. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, I suppose. And uh, last but not least, most importantly, have a nice day and I'll see you next time.